good morning and welcome to day 25 of the Heisen Trail. As you can tell, I got the jacket and the hood up. It's cold! But, look at that! That is blue sky. That is um, a lovely sight to see. Uh, yesterday <laughs> was mainly blah. Um, walking along the fence lines and long grass wasn't fun but there was some sections on vehicle track through the trees which was nice um and there were some roads as well so yeah another blah day um okay today i'm only a couple of k away from the campsite the reason i didn't camp at the campsite it's on top of a hill and it is very windy <laughs> And I did not want to camp on top of a hill in the wind. And a lot of the comments did, uh, in uh, Far Out did mention how windy it was on the top. Uh, so 2k to get to that campsite. And then it is uh, 14 kilometers to get to the next one. And then 4k to a hut after that. And then there's a long stretch um, in between without a lot of water. But... Uh, yeah, I'll get just past the hut, I think. Uh, yeah, um, feeling good. Oh, sun's just come up over the hill. Ooh, that is nice. That should hopefully warm me up. I can barely feel my hands. Uh, there was, even though it was windy, there was still a little bit of dew last night, so I still had to wipe the tent down a bit. But uh, once I wipe it down, when I put it up the next, uh, in the evening, it doesn't take long for it to 100% dry out. Right, let's see what today's like. Last night was some really weird noises, almost like a possum, but not quite. <laughs> so some other nocturnal animal and um, lots of earwigs. That is amazing how many <laughs> there were. I don't like earwigs. I think I saw some sci-fi movie where someone put them in the brain to in the air and they ate out the brain and I never got past that <laughs> but um yeah all over the place packing up my tent trying to flick them off so I didn't pack them with me <laughs> oh, oh that sun is lovely oh. so my just <laughs> my expectations of coming here is that it was going to be overly hot all the time but uh, I gotta say the nights even when the days are uh, warm the nights are cold <laughs> Ooh. Eh, a wind more. started the climb back up over these hills <laughs> once we go over the other side we walk down the uh, base of them for like four and a half k and then come back over this side <laughs> this is south hill campsite a uh, platform and a water tank yeah that says it's 17 k to maribel i thought it was only 15 but well that was a very gentle descent, so uh, changing direction in this way, and now I think four and a half k along the base of the hill on an old vehicle road. Now, while it is um, got a lot of wet patches, thankfully it's a different type of dirt, so it's not that cluggy, um, gluey, clay type material. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Don't mind it being wet when it's not sticky. Walking trail only. Nice little lake <laughs> extends to the gate. <laughs> Just as well my feet were already wet. <laughs> no choice but to splash through. Yeah. I'm actually enjoying this morning. Um, there was that little bit of fence line but the grass wasn't long and now it's um, almost single track going through here but it's been in amongst the trees, lots of birds, yeah nice, oh some funny little bird that was on the running along the ground, it was decent size, sort of a small chickenish size, um, yeah, 
kangaroos. It's been nice. It's a cute improvised style. <laughs> it's an interesting classical something, some form of farm machinery. Oh, still enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Wow, trees other than gum trees. We've got some pine trees. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is nice. Some variety. Hey, <laughs> Wow, that section went quick, probably because I was really enjoying it. I'm heading up the hill now. <laughs> Looks like a relatively gentle gradient going up on an angle instead of the straight up and over that we have been doing. This is the bird that makes those beautiful whistling noises. It's trying to attract me if nests are in the trees beside me. So that's why it's on the ground playing, come and get me. <laughs> but when they fly, they got white at the ends of their tips. It's got red around its eyes. Interesting. No style, but this is a pretty tight gap to get through with a pack on. Oh, did it. <laughs> okay, I'm at the top of the hill. <laughs> now I get to go down. And then along the base for a short while, and then I finally leave this row of hills and stop crossing back and forward over them. Going on to Ditty's Road. Dry weather road only. It's, um, just coming down that hill, some of this mud is the uh, sticky mud. So uh, luckily it seems to be drying out now. And next turn, <laughs> the rest of the day is a whole lot of straight either road or fence. 90 degree straight road or fence, 90 degree. <laughs> We're uh, wandering away from the hills now, um, heading to a town of Maribel. It's a town, but there's no shops open. Still walking long straight roads. Woohoo! 700 kilometers! Woohoo! <laughs> Quite nice seeing the other side of that 700 marker. I mean, only 400 to go. I am happy about <laughs> right now on this road for 3.6 kilometers I can see a dot in the distance which might be a person walking on the road in which case it's most likely Mel whose entry I've been seeing in the hut books who uh, I thought I might catch up in the next few days but we'll see could just be an animal and wet feet right before the town. So this is the town of Maribel. And from here, it's 4k to a hut, but to get to the hut, you've got to go off trail and um, up quite a steep hill. So I'm not going to do that. Um, so that means I've got 31k to the next water source. So I'll need to fill up here. Obviously, this is a Rodeo town. So this Bronco here, is Curio or Brumby they call it here uh, three year old Brumby mare 1945 and remained unridden for eight years <laughs> most riders lasted three seconds <laughs> all right um, right so this is it <laughs> unfortunately there's nothing here for me it's all closed so I filled my water and did my rubbish and off again 1903 relatively modern one for around here I've got another three and a half K on the roads section over there have alpaca and boar goats which is sort of the lifestyle starter pack these guys have gone one up they've gone camels <laughs> And off this road and we'll be turning down this road and hopefully it will not be sealed the whole way I've got two more K to um, go down this road and good it is not sealed 
traffic jam stuck behind the sheep. <laughs> so I've decided to uh, join in with the herding. So we've got a, a motorbike and a ute <laughs> and uh, yeah, and some sheep. It's nice I'm walking along chatting to the farmers. Oh, that was fun, something a little different. He uh, started off thinking that this is a new adventure for me until I pointed out I'm a farm kid. Ah, right, right, walking along, not for, uh, for a few hundred metres, and eventually we're going up that hill in front of us. So as farmers I was walking with, um, this is all their, a lot of this is their land. <laughs> they said they've got quite a lot of land but it's broken up with um, parcels in between it which aren't theirs. And that's back when this land was first divided up. It was given to the soldiers from World War I and slowly parcels of land have been bought up and uh, joined together into much bigger farms and because it's you know, the land parcels were way too small to be able to do anything with I think she said there were 80 acres um, so yeah so 80 acres is way too small to be viable in these modern times um, yeah so that was interesting uh, talking about how we're discussing the, the weather as you do and um, I said it's first time their dams have been full since 2016 uh, and this is the most rain they've seen in about 20 years and they're right on the cusp of the rain having a major effect um, the problem that they've got is the crops uh, have been fine with the rain but the crops are starting to turn and get ready for harvesting but the problem is the ground is so soggy the um, harvesting machines are getting stuck um, he said his neighbour tried today to cut some hay and got, got the uh, cutter stuck and there's a couple of fine days I think we've got three more decent days and then it is torrential rain again <laughs> um, so not looking good for them unfortunately this is not easy walking this mud is deep and slippery you see my footprints <laughs> and I think that's it for tracks for a while I think we are back to fence line there we go it's a fence <laughs> it's hard work pushing through that corner pretty tight um, I think we're just along the edge of the crop at the moment <laughs> so it can't be on the fence line because that's all underwater um <laughs> that way <laughs> not a chance alright not quite sure what's happening I'll keep going this way and see if there's a way up this is a bit of a slog it is <laughs> um, head high grass <laughs> and it's boggy underfoot oh. <laughs> let me through oh like a clear a bit <laughs> oh, quick reprieve and then back into the tall grass and now between the fence and the crops oh, oh, thank goodness a reprieve out on a track oh, it's just hard work <laughs> lots of butterflies here <laughs> Continuing through the garbage. <laughs> oh. There's a nice lunch break. Um, following up the creek and then up the hill. Took a much longer break than normal. Um, took my shoes and socks off and um, got rid of some of the grass seeds. This barley grass, they stick in your shoes and things. Um, and they break off to their uh, individual components they stick and then they start burrowing their way in to your shoes or socks whatever it is and end up getting through your shoes and into your socks and through your socks and um, touching your skin can really irritating um, so it's constant vigilance trying to pick them out and 
The other thing is I have my first blister at the very base of my second toe. Um, it's a weird place to have it. Um, I think it is a combination of my feet have been wet last few days. Um, lots of road walking today. And not only have my feet been wet, but um, there were quite muddy parts that I went through, which has meant there's a build-up of um, mud in the sock as well. And uh, I think just a combination, combination of those factors has resulted in a small blister. So I, uh, I've drained it slightly, and I've put some uh, uh, Body Glide chafing cream on it, just to try and stop whatever is causing it. But uh, basically, it's going to hurt a little bit till I get used to it again, and then tonight um, I'll air it out. Right, continuing up the creek. This is actually single track. I think it's just an animal track that the trails decided to follow, but I'm going to call it single track. Um, so I've crossed out of farmland and now heading up the hill. Look at that. Single track and a marker. <laughs> That's the way to Marshall Hut. And as it involves a bit of contours and 400 metres each way, no thank you. I'll continue on. I've got enough water to see me through. That's why I've come. It's quite cool. Got views out that way and get views out that way. Looks like we're heading along the ridge line for a bit. In fact, I see a hill up there. Might get a good 360 panorama. And start heading down far distance. It looks like actual mountains. This is cool. We're actually heading along the side of the hill so we keep the lovely views. Lots of trees, it's not just farmland, there's actually some nice trees to break it up. Panorama time, that's the way I'm going. <laughs> and I've come along the ridge line, but in reality, those wind turbines, the hills on the far side of them, that's where I camped looking across at the wind turbines last night. And I was in about the middle of the turbines. So I come along and then through and eventually up here. Alright, continuing along the ridge line. Hey, cell tower and antennas. And oh, there's an eagle over there. Um, heading along and then down the ridge line. Heading down the ridge, following the same trail as the kangaroos. <laughs> Here's the view out the front. In the trees, the vehicle tracks look so distinct, but up top where you've got the long grass and these uh, purple flowers, you can barely make it out at all. Okay. Basically heading down the hill and then I'm beyond the flats on a mixture of fence lines, tracks, roads. And we're following the creek again. This is nice. It's a rare bit of defined single track. Um, we're going between a fence and a road, but they don't want us on the road. Obviously the residents don't want smelly hikers. So most of it's just been on grass, some of it's been a faint trail, a few swamps. But now that we're up higher, we've got the uh, mice track. I think the storm came through here pretty hard. There's uh, quite a bit of damage. There's an actual old vehicle track now, which is uh, not bad. And um, yeah, it's still in the trees. It's nice in the trees. It's... <laughs> Very different from New Zealand bush, it's almost the same tree, there's not a lot of variety. <laughs> I uh, definitely prefer New Zealand bush with lots of different types of trees and stuff. Seems that every time I record, oh yay, a vehicle track, it disappears! <laughs> I'm a single track now, oh well. 
just had a 90 degree change in direction and the sign actually says walkers follow track so I am on a vehicle track here's my home for the night quite nice scenery in the background and uh, that's exactly the same looking from out my doorway <laughs> looking that way absolutely lovely